day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, this is Pi B of our after hours that we did on the 28th of June, uh, dealing with the fact that obeying glory uh, and is it worth losing your soul. And with part A, we're talking the fact is let's operate as Christians. Let us be approached as Christians. And if we suffer, we suffer doing good, well doing, not as murderers and thieves. The enemy wants to try to portray that, the enemy try to give the excuse, and that's why if a police accounts you, he wants you, in order for him to escalate what he's doing. He's going to do it based on the fact that that uh, you have been identified as doing evil doing. And what you want to be able to do is make sure you comply so that the enemy does not have the excuse. Make sure they're recording. And you, matter of fact, I was telling, I forgot to tell you in part eight, you know, Joe, if you're going to encounter the police, go ahead and put your recorder on your phone so that you have the, the evidence to show that you were in complete compliance. Don't, don't let don't let it just they, that person uh, uh, say something and and because you don't have any proof the uh, the enemy is going to uh, throw that before the judge that you did this this and this. Go ahead. I, I think people should get dash cameras, uh, get the phone recording. Don't don't wait till the man shows up. Get the car. What if you got an encounter, please go ahead and cut your recording on right away from the beginning. Amen. Uh, but comply. Not fight or flight. The option three is compliance. And what is one of the uh, uh, examples is the one that what did Jesus do when he was arrested? And don't forget, the system went against Jesus. You had the, the Sanhedrin, you had the Roman soldiers, uh, all those people, and they were abusive. But the question is, how did Jesus, operating in righteousness, uh, handle the situation? Jesus had to go to the cross. Jesus had to die and suffer for our sins. So he had to go all the way. And one of the things I did tell you about is in Philippians uh, 3.10, we say that we may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, conforming to his death. So we want to know him. We want to know the power of his resurrection. We also want to know and fellowship with his suffering by operating as believers in Christ Jesus. So the, yes, the Bible study was very hectic. And I think next time when we have the Bible study, either Thursday or, or Sunday uh, coming up uh, during the 4th of July weekend, we, why we, do, we might go over the study of Jesus' behavior all the way through this illegal process. And that's what we're talking about with Black Lives Matter now. We even have our own savior he, but he allowed it. And that's what I like about John is to show you he allowed it to happen. The power of God was with him. But he allowed it so he can lay down his life for you. No man could take it. He laid it down. Now, show your power and fellowship of his suffering. Comply. And if they do wrong, just like what happened to George Floyd, if we get it on tape. We can push for more reform. We can push for more changing. What we want to do is make sure that they won't have an excuse in that recording, whether you have it on your phone or whether you have it on his, his camera, body camera, or on his dashboard, you comply. Don't sit there, be seditious. Don't be sit there, be rebellious. Comply. Bear the fruits of the Spirit. Amen? Don't say you don't have to ask questions, but ask, bear the fruits of the Spirit. And here's the one that we're talking about. This is John 18. And let's kind of use this example of how Christ responded. He said in verse 1 of John 18, and it's talking about the betrayal and arrest of Jesus. Sound familiar? 2020? Huh? When Jesus had spoken these words, he went forth with his disciples over the brook of Sevron, where was a garden into the which he entered and his disciples. And Judas also, which betrayed him, knew the place where Jesus oftentimes resorted bitter with his disciples. Judas didn't have to see, look at this, a band of men. And that kind of reminds me of all those, see, if you see some of that, a lot of them just, just jump on you, man. They just bang. I think that's a new technique 
You know, we just gonna overwhelm you with people and they're gonna beat you with sticks and days with you and still tell you to comply while you sit there trying to. <laughs> yeah, it's a trick of the devil, God. The devil is a lie. Amen. He said that with a band of men and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees coming thither with lanterns and torches, look at this, and weapons. Does that seem familiar? Black lives matter, all lives matter. Jesus lives matter, huh? God bless you. Jesus, therefore, knowing all faith that should come upon him, went forth and said unto them, Whom you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto I am he. And Judas also, who betrayed him, stood with him. And look at this, in verse 6, as soon as as soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell to the ground. That's all to demonstrate to you that he laid his life down. No man can take it. Then asked them again. Then he asked them again, Whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I have told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let these go their way, that they, that that saying might be fulfilled, which he spake of them, which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Then Simon Peter, having his sword, drew it, and smote the high priest's servant, and cut off his right ear. The servant name was Malchus. Then Jesus said unto Peter, put up that sword, just like we're talking about, you don't have to fight. Put up that sword and that sheep. The cup which my father has given me, shall I not drink it? And the rest of that story shows how they led Jesus to, to, to Sanhedrin, and then they led finally to Pontius Pilate, and then finally the band of soldiers and garrisons, they all, they, they whipped him, they beat him, they spit on him, they slapped him. But you know what? And that's what we're gonna cover in the Bible study. He never said a mumbling word. Remember that song? Never said a mumbling word. Why? Because the joy that was the joy that was set before him allowed him to do it across. Maybe that's something we should take advantage as well. Letting the joy of the Lord allow us to endure the abuse until changes are made. If you're gonna die, don't die as an evil uh, doer. Die as a believer. Die as somebody complying. Die in time by following the law. Die being a, a citizen, a law-abiding citizen, and, and watch the system. Because the system has a problem being able to deal with someone doing the right thing. Whether we like it or not, it has a problem. And it's a costly for them to do things that continue to be not justifiable. Amen? All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll pick that up uh, next Thursday during the 5th of July. But this is Part B, and uh, God bless you. And I thank you for listening to our video. Amen? Amen. And don't forget, you can subscribe, and also you can write comments, and we can try to reply to them. God bless. Bye-bye. Elder? Where it says it says, let none of you suffer for us 415 is where we're going to start at but let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evildoer or as a busybody in other men's matters yet if any man suffer as a christian let him do not not be ashamed but let him glorify god on this behalf so the question was a good question because i, I think the point is that did he glorify god in his dying and is that our business you know our business is to die on behalf of Christ and to glorify him. Whether we die for doing something that's ungodly, that brings no glory to him. That's vain glory in a sense. So are people being, are people being drawn to Christ through by what happened to Mr. Uh, uh, what was it Ford? Floyd. Yeah. Floyd. Are they are they drawn to Christ by that? And 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 I had that same question because I never heard anybody to include Al Sharpton say anything of Christ in his conversation. And that was my point. I yep. I, I have not heard not anything that glorified that that his death glorified God. 
there, there's an unfortunate truth. It, it was just an unfortunate uh, worldly occurrence. Uh, no, it, it, it was it was a, a a brutal act on a man's life on humanity. Well, let's, and, let's, and, let's, and, let's, and let's, other than that, us us using it to glorify God is one thing. But his death in and of himself, I, I don't know if it if if I can say that. Well, but that, 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 I can believe that. Yes, hey brother, as I'm not saying it that way. If you're saying that he died as a martyr or anything like that, no, I'm not. What I'm saying is the fact is that his the tragedy, the atrocity, the 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 cop who tried the police officer who tried to say they are of justice, they're doing injustice, is a method of tool used to bring society to see wrong and address it as wrong. And they did say that this guy isn't, you know, you saw the pictures of him, like angels around him, you know, like angel wings and stuff like that, right? Yeah. I'm just saying is that they, they still looked at the fact is that God's way was better than what the police officer presented. That's all I'm trying to say. Hold, hold on, Jack. Augustine straight up gangbangers that died and had angel wings on them at his funeral. I've seen pastors try to somehow fit this person, you know, have an opportunity to go into heaven. You know, not saying that they didn't, but there is a qualifier. God gave his son for the world. For the world. For the world. But there's a qualifier. Okay, what's the qualifier? That they that believeth on him shall not die. Well, that's, I mean, that's there's, there, there, there's a qualifier. You have to accept him as his, as your Lord and Savior. Yeah. Now, you, they're, they're, I mean, just because he sent them doesn't mean that there aren't people going to hell. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's not that is true. We're not trying to say that. My point though is that what you saw was like you had you bring us an example: Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Which one made least some changes to our society, but going God's way? Well, Which I, I think it? both. I don't I think, think both. I, I think both because if, if Malcolm hadn't been there as the alternative, King wouldn't have got as much support. Now you're talking. You're talking about an alternative, yeah, right? And a choice. A Malcolm choice between, showed them a choice between God's way and man's way, right? Well, violence or nonviolence. Violence or nonviolence. Non non the, the God that we serve is a violent God. In the Old Testament, he cleaned clock. As a matter of fact, it's documented that he told the Israelites to commit genocide on seven tribes. And in the future, said that he's going to rule the nation with a rod of iron. But are uh, we acting in that state right now? In accordance with the the script, we're supposed to be acting like Jesus did. And he showed the love, the mercy, the long suffering, the patience, the meekness, and so forth and so on of God. So um, our God, what, what, not to fight, does not necessarily depict that we are on, we are godly. I think if we attribute our not fighting to God, then that glorifies him. What what says that the, the man's death? Yeah, the man dying. That's that's in the, in the Old Testament. A man dying was God's glory because when 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 when, when he killed the life, David killed a lot of people. <laughs> and, yeah, and he, yeah. he, he but, was a great warrior. But in this but, age, war is not what we're implementing. <laughs> I don't want I don't want stray too far, but I'm saying it back to Brother Allison. Concern is, did God get glory from that death? Did he, did something happen? Did something change? Did something affect the heart of men? I think something affected the heart of men, but did they attribute it to God? I don't know. I thought they attributed it to the protest and the kids afterwards. That, yeah. And that was my concern. I don't know who was getting glory out of that. <clears throat> well, the thing about it is if we're sitting there, are we, when we come up with our moral values, and you just read the scriptures, suffer as a murderer, as right. a, uh, so forth, that doesn't glorify God, right? <clears throat> Not in this age, it doesn't. Right, but if you suffer uh, 
by, by being an innocent person, does that glorify God? Me? You got to struggle on that, don't you? I don't know. If, if, if I suffer, If, if it glorifies God, if people that don't know that I'm suffering for Christ. But will you? Yes, it does. Because the glory goes to God. See, that's the thing. No, no, no. The, the glory can go to God. But I'm talking about if if people don't know, if, if the masses don't know, if anybody don't, does not know that my, my suffering is is because of my yeah. love of God, right. Right. then how can it glorify God to them? Yeah. How do they see that God is glorifying? If 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 a person dies, they just die. Now, now, you say about if, it? If, if, if it's known Go ahead. that this man was ministering the gospel and he died because of it, Glorifies God. Look, I'm look, not brother, saying that's the only the only way, but I'm still I still think that for God to get the glory, God's got to be in it somehow, and people got to know. How can you how gotta can, be careful? You gotta be careful, God. God, God. How we respond to what happened. That too. That too. Yeah. Glory yes, on how that. I respond to what happened. How yes. the church responds. When it comes yes. to that, if an individual is persecuting me, yeah, okay. I respond okay. in in okay. in a godly manner. Then God gets the glory. And we're also responding to Black Lives Matter. We're also responding to the right to protest that he happened to die unjustly, that he died by the hands of a cop, like that. So, um, by, um, so you know what I mean? So- yeah, yeah. Because all of these conversations so are happening, like reason. we're having right now. Exactly, exactly. It's provoking something. Hey, to include well, yeah. Terrence, hey look, to include Terrence so that down makes those got the glory, I think. But hey, how look. many Bible studies are using it in this man? You know, how many know. how many households are just saying, man, that brother didn't have to die. That was messed up. And, and God ain't got nothing to do with it. But I want to ask if this is the purpose of it, why isn't it coming together as a community? It doesn't, I don't understand protesting at this point needs to grow bigger. It needs yeah. to be bigger than a protest. Yes. But, 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 if to you, represent Jesus and the God, come then on we now. need to be on the streets protesting. Then why would the church, why we not? I don't understand that. I don't understand. Yeah. Everybody said, well, the church needs, the church is the church. Then why don't we, why don't, how do you tell me what I can do as the church to join the protester, because I ain't going out there if I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I, I, and, that's, and I think that's a good Protesting, I don't know what I'm doing. That's a so good point. If it's, I'm going out there to give God the glory, you better believe I'm going out there to represent the church. Well, why would you speak of Black Lives Matter? Black Lives Matter. That's what I'm saying. Representing the gospel because of Jesus Christ. Those scriptures that you just showed me. Vain glory and all that that can follow Black My Lives Matter it and does. teach the people that are in the black and white uniforms that are um, brutalizing people, black people and other people, slaying them on the street. If it can change how they think with the words that are on the paper that we're reading to them, Nine. that are seeing those scriptures behind that. Then I'm all down for walking. Well, I put it. I put it this way. Black, white, black lives walk. Black lives matters. Ain't enough word for me. Well, it's see you look. But see you look. See you look. Made a love of God. 
can you display the love of God even to them that uh, I can, and that, I walk with the that's love what of becomes God. effective yeah. it becomes effective when we start to do it God's way exactly. and we do like to start praying for that guy yeah he did something that was atrocious man he killed this guy that yeah. ain't God. That, that, that's, that's evidence that he need to hook up with the Lord but now we need to pray for him and if the church is going to jump into it if we're going to jump to it where God gives the glory we're shooting for human souls he might have committed an atrocity all did the same thing but Paul got converted and became one of the most powerful resources that Jesus Jesus Christ had to further the kingdom. And ended up dying for the same gospel that he tried to stop. So what we're going for is the heart of that person. What was in that man's heart that caused him to do something like that? Obviously the devil has control on him. He himself is at risk of going dying and going to hell. We yeah. don't know what happened with Lord's body. I mean, it's just so we don't know if he was in, 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 in we don't know if he was a disciple of Christ or not. But we know there's still a probability or possibility that we might save this boy that's still on the planet. Now he may be executed by men, but will God can God save his soul? Amen. What a great testimony it would be if he converts before he dies. Amen. Yeah, the, the other people, like I said, I think I think I like the other statement was how the church responds, brother Addison, makes the difference of God getting the glory. And and that's my Amen. point. You can't go out there trying to give God glory by holding up a sign that says BLM. You can't. <laughs> How does that glorify God? It's right. not enough. So if you go out there and you're hollering anything other than the gospel out there, how is God getting the glory when you're out there marching? Now that, that's a good that's a good question. That's a good point. Yep. Uh, is is the church out there with them? And I think the church is out there. Yeah. Uh, there are churches out there marching. There's a church there. Well, the church is people. It ain't it ain't a con I mean it's not a conversation from a certain house of worship. I'm talking you're about, talking about a house of worship out there? No, I'm talking about people that know that scripture, that know why we out there, that are gonna make a difference mm -hmm. to where if you're talking to the police, you're not saying something stupid or doing something stupid. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we came together to protest with a different type of gathering, we won't be getting stuck down and thrown. We won't be walking out in the street trying to vandalize and you know what you're you're, you're doing what what the what, what the okay. media is is doing. So peaceful. We'll never come on peaceful so assembly, and then they're joining the thugs, the and the, the, the looters, them. and everything, and they're putting them together. Oh, and so you're what? Because I don't know. That's what I'm telling you. They looters. Turn. They but I don't know. See, that's people what I'm saying. are out there peaceful demonstrating. But do you know how many people are like me in the church that don't know, that don't know what to do, that are sitting in Bible study, mm -hmm. all sitting in Bible study talking about, well, we want to help. We're praying. We're praying. We don't know what we're praying for. We don't know the truth of what's going on. So what we need to do right here in the local community is no. While I'm praying now, I got new scriptures to pray for because I don't know nothing. So now that I have these scriptures, it's giving me all more detail, this, you know, to, Amen. to pray for something that's more meaningful. I don't know what Black Lives Matter for the for the details of all this mess that's going on. You giving me scriptures. Now I'm on God's team about why it matters. Amen. Black and the fact that you know, who I, the and, and who I go to church with go understand them scriptures about what the protest is. See, I got something to talk about that I understand. I'm sitting around here not understanding what's going on. Thank God I got a brother-in-law that I've been with. Going to squeeze him out to teach me, but you know, that's all about rhythm and time. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, I, I send him around him anytime I can, but this is such a good <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. Say what you guys say. Can we get around? <laughs> Just tell me the right thing to say. <laughs> about changing hearts because my heart has to change. My heart has to change. Amen. Yes, ma'am. I agree. My heart got to change. Because if I don't get me down 
I'm gonna beat somebody down. <laughs> they hurt my nephew. They gonna come get me after they come get me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but um, you did, you did good, brother Addison. I, I love you. Hey, I, I love this lady right here. I love her. <laughs> I take my whippy lady. Ooh. <laughs> hey, sorry. Hey, hey, brother Addison, we gotta squeeze that word out of you, but sorry. But Chris, go ahead, sorry. brother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you you got to understand, I'm Chris's sister. The word I give is concentrate. You need to take what I give and, 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 and let that let that marinate. <laughs> Sorry. You can't give, you, you can't, you can't Why am I gonna give more until you get what I give? I mean, I Praise try. Up. Praise up. I'm like, I'm like the sword. Hey, Chris, go ahead. You gotta sword. say, Chris. Give me crap. Give me crap. Here's, like you said, we sitting here, we talk, and then, you know, we're having a good time. And the thing is, until you get put in that situation, you really not gonna know how you react. So, like you said, Pastor Taylor, when the time comes by, get hemmed up. I hope in my mind, right before I do what I'm gonna do, I go and, and like I said, hopefully, Lord, give me the strength to do what I need to do right now. Right Amen. now. That's, that's it, brother. And after that, whatever happened, happened. Amen. Like, you know me. I like hey, I like my Davids. I like my Samsons. And like I said, Jesus, I'm cool with him too. But I, I don't mind getting a little dirty. Come on <laughs> so, now. So that's, that's how I'm gonna have to go. Amen. The thing is though, Chris, you gotta remember that Peter spoke to those two people and they died. He didn't swing a sword. Hey bro, bro, he, he don't some... wanna give me that. He don't wanna give me that power. He don't wanna give me that. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> he don't wanna give me that one. Hey, I'm a, hey, I'm a Jedi Knight now. Ooh, I'm telling people a lot. Chris would have Chris would have cut that man ear off too. <laughs> hey, you're handing the bike to him. Ta-da! <laughs> now the thing was, Jesus took the man ear and stuck it back on his head. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> guy ear off and Jesus stuck it back on his head. I'd have stuck it somewhere. It wouldn't have been on his ear, but I'd have stuck it somewhere. <laughs> hey, brother. Brother uh, Jackson, can you do the comedian so we get out of here? <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, man, Everybody... hey, hey, that was a good discussion. Hey, we'll, pick up, God. <laughs> we'll pick it up again, Brother Addison, next week. If we yes, can. because I got a lot to say. <laughs> hey, man, hey, man. Hey, let me grab something right quick. All right, all right. Yeah, buddy. That's beautiful. Don't pray. But you know, the other thing while, uh, while he's going to go get his stuff is that, you know, in church, um, you know, we wonder what the discussions are. And uh, it would be nice, you know, to, to kind of, because I've, I've been looking at it on TV and I'll be honest with you, I, I really hadn't really seen the conversation that needs to be had. Yes, sir. Um, not from the, the church, not from the church. Not from the institutionalized, I'm gonna use that, you know, institutionalized church that we yeah. see on TV. Um, and I find that very hmm. interesting, which is a telltale sign going back to you know what she was saying about what is it that we are supposed to do yeah. um it, it, it it's got to be you know grassroots uh i think is the answer and um you know not worrying about the numbers because the institutions aren't going to be out there to help us we already know how these institutions work too many of them are concerned about their bottom line dollar and and their, their numbers and they don't want to offend, they don't want to offend, there you go. The world system has infiltrated the institution, but I think us, the, the world system has not infiltrated us as individuals, you know, as, as, as little Christ, it hasn't done that. And, um, you know, we take our big Bibles and our little Bibles and we go out there and we do speak the scripture. When we're walking down the street, whether it's in a, in a um, protest format, or whether it's somebody we bump into, um, wherever it may may be, we have those scriptures ready because people do ask. I mean, I have I've had people call me and ask me, "Hey, what's going on?" And you know what? These conversations that we're having right now, that's what I have in them. But I tell you what happened, in in in, in uh, probably to the person, rather than them hearing scripture, 
They went back to their own opinion about, yes, about what was going on. So all yeah. I can do is put that seed out there. You yeah. know, I can't, I can't force it on them, you know, and I can't worry about whether my conversation with them or did anything. I just got to know whether or not, I just hope that it, it, the spirit eventually touches them and they, they see the light. Everybody got their stuff? Uh, okay. All right, all right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's grab our bread. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, hallelujah. Hallowed be thy name. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for being here this morning in this fellowship. <clears throat> Lord, a little did we know uh, how, what you would reveal to us today, but we already know because you were here that you have given each one of us a message and not just for those of us who are here live hearing the message but those who will also hear the message hereafter yes we thank you dear father in heaven for the many blessings that you give to us and we always say we thank you for the blessings that we know about and also for the blessings that we don't know about and dear jesus you said that every time we come together and commune like this that we are to do it in remembrance of you and jesus we do remember you we thank you and thank you and thank you. And we know that we can't thank you enough for what you've done for us. You've made that impossible way possible. We have that direct relationship with God the Father because of you, dear Jesus. And right now, in fellowship, we take this bread, we break it, and we eat it in remembrance of you. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Mm. Mm. Oh, thank you. Yes. And now we take this cup and this cup, dear father, in it is the symbolic representation of the pure blood of your son, Jesus Christ. His name is above all names, the son of God, the savior of all mankind. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your life. We thank you for your suffering. We thank you for your death in our place. And we thank you for rising again. We know that you are alive. And we know that those of us who believe in you, that pure blood is poured upon us so that God the Father sees righteousness in us. And he's washed, you have washed our sins away. Dear Jesus, we thank you. And let us be bold enough to go out and speak the word that comes from the Spirit, that only comes from God the Father, not from our flesh. Because we know our flesh wants to rise up. We know that, dear Jesus. But Lord, let us yield to you, yield to the spirit, and let us say and do the things that God the Father would have us to say and do, even to the point of death. And now, Jesus, for the victory that is already at hand, we take this cup and we drink it in remembrance of you. Amen. Amen. Dear Father, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And we just thank you, dear Jesus, for all of the things that you have done for us, for, for being at the right hand of the Father, interceding on our behalf. And let us go out there and do what you would have us to do boldly or subtly. However, it is, as long as it's righteous in the sight of God the Father. We say these things in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 Hey, Ooh, I appreciate we had a real good discussion, Chris, and we still got to continue. And like I said, brother, we got to continue. But we do need to try to weed in the scriptures and how we need to act in this day and time. So Amen. that's it. That's the goal in the test. Hey, I.